Currently, all of our videos are published as soon as we save the post. Since I have cron set to run every three hours, this means that I could potentially have a post live on my site for three whole hours before the video itself shows up on the post. Let me show you what I mean. If I add another video, and select our video, if we don't select convert video on save, then when we save our video, we get a notice saying this video is currently being processed, please wait. Well, if I go over to Zencoder and refresh, there's no new job because it's waiting for cron to send that video over. That means that if cron just ran, I could be waiting three hours before this video is sent over to Zencoder. But it's live on the site. People can come to it, look at it, and all they'll get is this video is currently being processed, please wait. I don't want that to be there for three hours. If I go ahead and run cron, then we'll see as soon as we go to Zencoder and refresh, we'll have a new job and Zencoder is doing its thing. Now it'll be a matter of minutes before the video shows up on my site. Now we could tell all of our videos to convert on node save, but if you're uploading a lot of videos or have general users uploading videos, it's best to have them convert in batches. This is where we run into the issue of having live posts without videos. The answer to this is to have a rules publish our posts for us after the video has been sent to Zencoder. That way, if we have 20 videos that need to be converted, we can create all of the posts, but have them unpublished and have Cron send the first five videos to Zencoder then when those five are successfully sent, Rules publishes those posts. Then it's just a matter of minutes before the videos are live. The next time cron runs, the next five are sent, and the process continues. Our swing dancing post is now live. Oh, that's a good shot. I have to see what this was. Hmm. Okay, to do this, we're going to need two modules. We'll need Entity API, and we'll also need Rules. And once those are installed, we'll scroll down, enable Entity API, Entity Tokens, Rules, Rules Scheduler, and Rules UI. Next, we need to configure videos to be unpublished by default. So we'll go to structure, content types, and we'll edit our video type. And then we'll scroll down and under publishing options, we will deselect published and save that. And finally, we need to set up our rule that will publish our videos once they've been successfully sent to Zencoder. This is done in configuration, rules, and we're going to add a new rule. I'll call this publish a video after successful submission, and we'll tell it to react on the event after video conversion success. Now it says conversion success, but it'll actually happen when it is successfully sent to Zencoder, not after Zencoder has finished converting it. I'll add a condition just to make sure that our node type is a video. And for the action, We'll choose Publish Content. And that's it. I'll create one more video to show you how it works. And I'll click Save. 
and now I see that this video has been created. Again, we have the notice that says the video is being processed, please wait. And this is what we don't want to be live for our users. So if we go home, we'll actually see that Swing Dancing Part 3 is not in our list. And if we view the site as an anonymous user, they don't see Swing Dancing Part 3 either. But we know it's there because we just created it. So this is what we really want. We've got the post created, but it's not showing up so that the end user doesn't see the post without the video. If we go into Zencoder and refresh, the job's not there. So once again, I'm going to go ahead and tell Cron to run. And now we'll see that Zencoder has got the job. And if we refresh home, we see Swing Dancing Part 3. Now this is those couple of minutes where it's not done yet, but you'll see that our post wasn't published until the video was actually sent to Zencoder. This reduces that lag time to a minute or two. Now if we refresh, we can see the Swing Dancing Part 3. That's really, really cool. And now it's on our homepage. And we only had about a minute while the post was live without the video.